guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be talking about all the books that i read in 2023 so if you're interested in this then keep on watching okay guys so this video it's a little later than i wanted to upload it because this is my second time recording this video because the first time that i recorded it i was sitting right there where my bookshelf is and the sign that tells that says vows library it was focusing on the sign all the time and not on my face so yes hopefully this video turns out good because i'm not doing this again <laughs> so i'm going to be talking about all the books that i read in 2023 and i'm so excited i'm going to try to make more video more book videos because i am truly very passionate about reading and i love reading and i would like to build a community of people that also like reading so we can talk about the books together you know so we're going to do that this year okay let's follow each other on goodreads my goodreads i'm gonna leave it right here and i'm gonna link it down below it's uh just it's valda nunez i think so goodreads does this thing that it's my year in books and i read 15 books and 5,836 pages. That's insane. Wait, make sure you can see that. Yeah. I read 15 books and I wanted to read 50. That did not happen. This year, I put a little lower. I put 30. So I did 15 and I'm gonna add 15 more. So I'm gonna read 30 books this year. So let's see if that actually happens. I'm pretty sure I'm on track right now. Let's start with the first book that I, that I read. It's called The Forest of Stars. And also I'm going to be putting picture right here of the books so you can see it. And so A Forest of Stars, I'm pretty sure I found this book on TikTok or something or someone recommended it to me because i don't know it's not like very popular book i think it only has 5,000 ratings so it's not like a very popular book but it should be because it's very good i gave it a four 4.5 stars and it's amazing it kind of gave me a court of thorns and roses so this book is about this girl that she gets kidnapped by a fake king and she basically has to be part of this competition where the women are basically fighting to be the king's wife she doesn't really want to be there she just got gets kidnapped and then things happen from there so the women in the competition don't really want to marry the king for romantic purposes just because of the title and like the perks that it comes to being a queen so i really love this book it was i read this book in january i it's actually a trilogy and i read this book when i was in dr it was really good i gave it a 4.5 stars just because it reminded me of a court of thorns and roses kind of so yeah if you are into fantasy and romance i'm pretty sure you're gonna love this book it's a little spicy not that much now the second book i read is a kiss of shadow which is basically the second book in the trilogy and i also gave this book a 4.5 stars i really really love this trilogy i really recommend recommend it and i really think you should read it i'm not gonna really read what it is about because it kind of like spoils the first one so yeah and then the third book i read is a crown of starlight and this book was also good i just gave it a four stars and i feel like like in the middle of the second book to the third it kind of got a little boring you know like there weren't like amazing things happening but i still gave it a four stars because the plot was still good i just feel like kind of got a little boring that kind of happens with some trilogies or some series that the books start getting a little boring so yeah but I still recommend this trilogy if you like A Court of Thorns and Roses or like fantasy and fae stuff because it's a fae thing. So yes. Alright guys, so the next book I read, actually, fun fact, I got this book when I was in the airport going to the R because I forgot all of my books that I wanted to bring on the trip and I forgot them at home. I read the first, the trilogy that I read, I read it on my phone actually. This book, I bought it on the bookstore. It was like $30 for a freaking book just because it was on, on the airport. The next book I read read is uh things we never got over i don't know if this is focusing this is things we never got over i know this is not really a trilogy it's there's three books but i'm pretty sure that you can read them as standalones and you don't have to read them like in order or anything like that so this is basically about nox and naomi wait is it nox yes <laughs> sorry i kind of i kind of forget the the books that i read this is basically about nox and naomi so naomi ran away from her wedding if i'm not mistaken that's what happened and then she went into this little town where her sister is actually from she has a twin sister and then when she gets to the town she finds out that basically her twin sister has had 
had all of these problems over there and people think that Naomi is her twin sister. People don't like her. And then Naomi finds out she has a niece that she didn't know about. And she's like eight years old or 10. She kind of has to step in and be her guardian. And a lot of stuff happened in there. And then she meets Knox. And Knox is like a, a barber on the town. It's a very, it's kind of like an enemies to lover stuff. Yeah, because they don't like each other at all. I really like this book. It's pretty spicy in my opinion. I, got, I gave it a 4.5 stars. Totally recommend it. I know that there's two other books. I don't think it's a series but don't quote me on that. But yeah I want to read the other ones because if it's as good as this one then I would like to read it. But yeah. Okay guys so the next book that I read it's King of Wrath by Anna Huang. Oh my god I love this book. If you don't know who Anna Huang is you'll be living under a rock because <laughs> please. She is the author of the Twisted series and I also read that series or I'm like still on the process of reading it but King of Wrath is the first book of the Kings of Sin series and oh my god this book is so good it's about uh, Vivian and Dante Russo so Dante is a billionaire he has his own company so Vivian it's the daughter of this guy that he has his own company and he's a millionaire and stuff and Dante basically gets blackmailed into marrying Vivian and Vivian doesn't know that she just thinks the marriage is like a marriage of convenience Vivian doesn't know who blackmailed him or if that he was blackmailed and they don't like each other this is an enemies to lovers book i love it and they don't like each other and then they start liking each other and it's just such a good book and i also read the second of that series which is king of pride that was also such a good book it was five stars the first one was 4.5 this one was five stars it's that good anna is like I love her books. King of Pride, it's, it's Kai and Isabella. So Isabella works at this club for like millionaires that you can only get like an invite to go inside. And Kai is a young CEO, like waiting for a CEO boat to see because his mom is stepping down from the company and he is a millionaire. He wants to be the CEO of the his mom's company. Basically the people from the company tell him like, you know, lay low for the CEO boat so nothing goes wrong. And then he starts like in Isabella and then they start seeing each other and they're not supposed to because she works for the club that he is a member of and they're not supposed to you know like see each other and stuff so yeah they get in trouble and stuff and then it's just a whole thing happened I love it so much it's a very spicy book and I completely recommend it okay guys so then I started reading the Throne of Glad series by Sarah J Maas so Sarah J Maas is the author of A Court of Thorns and Roses series and Crescent City I'm actually reading Crescent City I'm like 50% done with the book and it is so good already. <laughs> Sarah is so good at writing, but this, it, it was not me. Let me explain it. So I read Throne of Glass first. I know there's controversy on how you should read it. I looked up how to read it and then I made my decision based on of the info that I got off the internet. I started with Throne of Glass first. Then I read Crown of Midnight and then Hair of Fire. And then I read The Assassin's Blade. And I think personally for me, I liked that I read Assassin's Blade as after Hair of Fire because I feel like The Assassin's Blade was going to just spoil everything for me. And I am glad I read it that way. But this series is just not for me. I am giving it another try this year. I'm starting it again. I don't know when, but I'll start it again and I'll give it another try because I love Sarah J Mass books and Crescent City is so good. So far so i know people are saying that i need to read the throne of glass series so i can kind of understand more of crescent city and stuff listen i'm gonna give it another try i'll let you guys know okay but yeah throne of glass it is about selena sardothian she is an assassin he basically goes to the king's castle to be his champion right and to basically do his bidding for him right she likes the captain of the guard for the king and then a bunch of weird things just start happening and I feel like the plot in the sense is good, but it was a little boring for me. There's not much romance in those four books that I read. There's like barely any romance for me. That's just my opinion. It's just not enough for me. It is interesting what is going on because it's like messed up. Like, damn, like what is really going on? But it's just not my thing, okay? Those are the books that I read and the other one, Assassin's Blade, I read it on my iPad. Some people recommend this, but I am not gonna lie. I'm not gonna recommend it to you until I actually know what is going on. And if I really end up liking it, I'm gonna reread it. So Throne of Glass, I gave it a three stars. Crown of Midnight, I gave it a four stars. This is started getting a little better. Hair of Fire, I gave it a four stars. And then the Assassin's Blade, well, I gave it a four stars. So I know my rating is a little confusing based on what I just told you, but 
like I said, it's just the plot was good, but it started to get a little boring and it doesn't have enough romance for me. So I gave it a four stars because of the plot. Like the plot was interesting. The next book that I read is Twisted Hate. Some people love this, some people hate it. I am in between. I'm more towards the hate side. Twisted Hate is the third book in the Twisted series by Anna Huang. Anna, I love her books, but this one is a little messed up. It's messed up, okay? Listen. I gave it a three stars. Should have been one, but I gave it a three. Now, the spice is good, the spice is there. But this is about Josh and Jules. So Josh, he is a doctor. Is he still in school? I don't remember, but he's a doctor, right? And Jules is studying for her test for be a lawyer, right? So Josh is Ava's brother, which Ava is like the main character from the first book, right? Josh and Jules literally hate each other for no reason. No reason, honestly. It's mostly miscommunication because Jules always thought Josh hated her. Josh didn't really like her because of her personality and basically she got Ava into like trouble when she, she was in uh, college and stuff. They started kind of like liking each other and then something happened. I'm not even, I can't even say it because then I'm gonna spoil it. Something happened and then he said some very mean things that I was like okay this is fiction right this is a book if this happened in real life listen we're gonna have a problem but also if because it happened in the book I'm like I don't agree with it I just think it's messed up and the fact that Jules after he said that it took her a while to get over it but then she still got over it and then gave him a chance that's what we're not doing okay we're not hanging out with douchebags okay I don't like this book let's move on <laughs> we just gotta take a second for this next book because it's just now look how gorgeous this edition is wait let me focus it on you this is gorgeous this edition is gorgeous i read fourth wing people were going crazy about it i could not find the damn book anywhere i looked on amazon looked on barnes and noble looked on every single website the book was sold out and then I was like, by this time, I already had my Kindle, if I'm not mistaken. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to download it on my Kindle. I got it for free. I get my books on my Kindle for free. If you want to know, DM me. Okay. So everybody was raving about this book. And I was like, listen, I want to read it. But it's sold out everywhere. So I was like, you know what? When it's be it becomes available, I'm going to buy it to have it as a trophy on my shelf. But let's just read it in my Kindle. If I tell you I devoured this book in like a day. This book is so good. And listen, I gave it five stars. I know some people don't like it, but I'm like, why? I mean, some people don't like the way it's written. Some people don't like like the romance or like what happens, but I love it. So this is the Violet Soringale. And Satan Ryerson, 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 Satan, right? So they're basically in this war college. They have to basically fight for their lives their whole, the whole time. They're dragon riders and something messed up happens. People hate Violet because she's the general's of the college daughter and she did some very, very bad things to some people. So people don't like Violet because of her mom, right? Satan and Violet's romance, it's so good. Now I wanted the romance to start a little earlier because I'm like, okay, like I see the tension. It already has to happen. Like, come on. That's kind of what I didn't, didn't like a little bit about this book but I read this book twice because when Iron Flame came out I was like listen you best believe I'm reading this book again so I got a fresh got a fresh in my mind so I read this book twice and both both times I gave it a five stars it's just that good so you have to read it okay once again it's not for everybody but I didn't finish Iron Flame until the beginning of this year so it is not in the 2023 reads but I'm gonna make a video about it so, I, so I'll tell you about Iron Flame okay because it was that good but yeah, fourth wink, five stars, totally recommend it. I've never read a book about with dragons before and I just love it now. Now I need more books with dragons. If you guys any, have any recommendations, please let me know in the comments because that next book I read is It Happened One Summer by Tessa Bailey. I read a couple of books from Tessa Bailey and I like them. So this one, I give it a three stars. Now it's not bad. The spice is there. It's it's good the story it was it was also you know cute but it's like a very cliche story you know the normal okay this is a spoiled brat and then she comes into this town and then people don't like her because she's spoiled she has money and they don't have money she does something noble and starts people start liking it and liking her and stuff and then they fall in love 
it was just too cliche for me i would still recommend it because it's a cute summery read that's why i got it like i bought it to read it in the summer i read it in the summer it was cute you know it was pretty fast because it's not it's, there's not that many pages honestly all right guys so the next book i read is uh, the summer of broken rules i also read this in the summer because i wanted cute summery reads also gave this one a three stars it's kind of also like it happened one summer in the sense so the story is about meredith so her sister died and just going through you know like this grief and she basically doesn't talk to her friends or anybody anymore and then her family has this thing that they go to martha's vineyard every summer like literally the whole family a bunch of people and then her cousin is getting married so she ends up going and seeing her family for the first time since her sister died there's a lot of emotions going on there and then the reason i gave this book a three stars is like the plot is good right it's like a little interesting not like the most interesting thing but it's good you know like her sister died she's trying to reconnect with her friends that she hadn't talked to and her family their wedding activities you could feel like summer vibes from the book i like that about the book the reason why i gave it a three stars was because she falls in love with one of the groomsmen in like a week that's why I didn't like it. I don't like when the characters just like randomly like fall in love with each other. I feel like that's that doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> that's why I didn't like the book. It was a little too fake for me. And there was not that much building of the relationship in a sense. You get it? Okay, guys. And the last book that I read was Love Theoretically by Ali Hazelwood. Let me tell you a little bit about her books. So I've read like five of her books and I love the settings of her books. Like the academic academic side i'm a science girly i love science so i love that sciencey nerdy and i like how the characters hate each other and then they like each other i love enemies to lovers books that's my favorite trope of the books and i love the spice and i love that about her books the only issue is that her books are very repetitive i feel like i'm reading the same book with different characters that's the only thing i don't like most of the books that i've read from her i gave it a three stars this is not an exception this was a three stars this is about elsie hanaway she's a theoretical physicist on the side she does she has another job and she does like uh, fake girlfriend stuff she ends up going uh, being the fake, fake girlfriend for this guy called greg i'm pretty sure it's greg and he's so nice and everything but he has a brother called jack and then he she goes on an interview for an mit job and guess who is the um, like the director or, or something like that for that the job that she wants jack He's like, oh, like, why are you lying? He thinks like she's a liar and stuff, but he doesn't know that his brother was also actually the one that has been like basically hired her to be the fake girlfriend. So basically the whole time it, he hates her because he thinks he's she's lying to his brother. They just end up liking each other even though he hates her. So yeah, those are all the books I read in 2023. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below and click the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Also guys, if you have any video ideas related to books that you want me to do, then make sure to leave me a comment and let me know. I would love to do that for you. I love reading and I want to make more book videos. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. But yeah, that's it guys. Thank you, bye.